to sous vide or not to sous vide? That is the question. Now, it's true that you do suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous culinary misfortune. <laughs> Enough Shakespeare. But sometimes you come across something you really like that does a really good job. And I think this time, the sous vide machine is something you do like. Sous vide is a process that's largely used in restaurants and it's sort of slowly making its way into home kitchens because of this machine. This is called the Sous Vide Supreme Water Oven. There's not any competitors out there to this one at this point. This is really the only one and it's a very simple system. This is filled with water. It's got a simple control panel where you can set a precise temperature and a timer. And what sous vide means, translated from the French, is under vacuum. You're vacuum sealing food and then you're cooking it in a precisely temperature controlled water bath. If you open this up, you can see there's a rack in here to hold the food. I have two boneless, skinless chicken breasts here. They're vacuum sealed. And the vacuum sealer does not come with the machine, so you have to have one separately. It goes into the rack like that, back into the oven, making sure that it's completely submerged. And then you put the top on and the little insulating pad and you can walk away and this will cook the chicken to whatever temperature you have programmed it to. We tried the boneless, skinless chicken breasts. We tried salmon fillets and steaks and carrots and we got great results with all of them. And as I see it, there are really three advantages to the sous vide. One is that you can not overcook your food. You have to know the target temperature that you want, but you program that in and it will never go hotter than that temperature. Number two, it's really evenly cooked food. A lot of times when you're pan searing or roasting, your cooking temperature is much higher than the target temperature of the food. And that's the case with this steak there. That was pan fried. And so the outer layer, you can see, is a little more done than the interior of the steak. The steak cooked by sous vide is evenly cooked from edge to edge. It's medium rare, 125 all the way from edge to edge. The last advantage is that once it reaches the target temperature, it will stay at that temperature for hours. So you can use this essentially like a slow cooker. You can go do something else for six, eight hours, come home and your food is still perfectly cooked. So it's, it's an interesting system. I mean, we enjoyed playing with it here. It's great for evenly cooked food. It's a $400 machine. There's a slightly smaller model for $300. Okay, well, I'm not ready yet. So I got ready three yet. questions. First is safety. If you're going to put food like chicken or, or turkey, which you know potentially has some problem if it's contaminated when you buy it, right. isn't safety an issue here? There are a couple of issues there. Number one, it is important to know pasteurization temperatures and times. But number two, you're vacuum sealing the food. So that limits oxygen content, which will kill a lot of the bacteria right there. Number three, it doesn't take that long for this boneless, skinless chicken to come up to its temperature. So so you're not really in that much danger there. Okay, the second thing is the benefit of sauteing something or getting high heat on the outside is the Maillard reaction, caramelization, flavor. Right. So this one is nicely evenly cooked on the inside, but sous vide, some of it I have, there isn't a lot of flavor development. I mean, isn't there something wrong with that? If the browning and the Maillard reaction are important to you, you do have to take steak that's been cooked sous vide, any kind of meat, and hit it in a saute pan or with a torch to make some of that browning. Not long enough to cook it, just to caramelize the exterior. Does the so torch come step. with a sous vide machine? That's an extra thing, but that's okay. no problem. We can go buy a torch, can't we? The last thing is, this is only for protein like meat, poultry, fish. Do you ever cook vegetables or anything else in We it? tried carrots and they were uh, really tender, really evenly cooked. So yeah. here in the equipment corner, Adam has definitely drunk the Kool-Aid of the sous vide machine. <laughs> it's sous vide supreme for dollars and Adam thinks and everyone else does here that it does a great job of perfectly cooking meat, poultry, fish, even vegetables. Celebrities are no strangers to makeover. Jennifer Hudson, uh, John Goodman, of course, and this is me before I lost my 200 pounds.